walk at. Today we're going to jump page 38, simplifying expressions with rational exponents. A rational number is any number that can be written as a ratio of two numbers, a divided by b, where a and b are integers and b does not equal zero. An irrational number is a real number that is not rational. Properties of exponents. Let a and b be real numbers and m and m be rational numbers. The product of powers property. a to the m times a to the n equals a to the m plus n. Quotient of powers property. a to the m power divided by b to the m power equals a to the m minus n, where a does not equal zero. The power of product property. a times b to the n is equal to a to the n times b to the m. Powers of quotient property. a divided by b to the n is equal to a to the n divided by b to the n, where b does not equal zero. Powers of a power property. a to the m to the n power is a to the m times n. All right, let's take a look at the first example. All right, example one, simplify the given expression. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is the squared part right there. So that's the cube root of 27 squared. Now, x cubed to the second power, you multiply 2 times 3, so that's x to the 6th. Okay? Now we still have the cube root. Now, 27 squared is 729 x to the 6th power. Okay, so now we're going to do the cube root of 729 times the cube root of x to the 6th power. Okay, so to do the cube root in the calculator, I'm going to go to Add Calculator. I'm going to press Control, this button right here, 3, 7, 29 is 9. Okay, so that equals 9 times the cube root of x to the sixth. Now, this can be written as 9 to the x to the six divided by 3. Well, 6 divided by 3 is 2, so your final answer is 9x squared. All right, go ahead and finish up example one. All right, let's take a look at example two. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so this is equal to the cube root of 8 to the fourth power. And then here, 8 cubed to the 4th power, you multiply that's a to the 12th power. Okay, well then, that's equal to the cube root of 8 to the 4th is 4,096. a to the 12th. So then we do the cube root of 4096 times the cube root of a to the 12th. Okay, so we can use our calculator. So control root, that's cube root of 4096 is 16. 
So that equals 16. And then that's A to the 12 divided by 3. So that equals 16 A to the 4th power. All right, go ahead and finish up example two. All right, let's take a look at example three. Simplify the given expression. Okay, so we have the cube root of 27 to the fourth power, a to the 12 times the sixth root of 27 to the fourth, a to the 12th. All right, so then that's the cube root of 27 to the fourth power, is five three one four four one a to the twelfth times the sixth root of five three one four four one a to the twelfth So then that's the cube root of 5, 3, 1, 4, 4, 1 times the cube root of a to the 12th times the 6th root of 5, 3, 1, 4, 4, 1 times the 6th root of a to the all right, so let's do some calculations with the calculator. So that's cube root of is eighty one. So that's 81. A to the, we can go and write that as 12 divided by 3 times, let's go ahead and do the sixth root. Is 9. And then that's a to the 12 divided by 6. Now we can multiply 81 times 9. Equals 729. A to the, that's a to the 4th times a Squared. Now, when you multiply exponents, you add them, so that's 729 a to the 6th. All right, go ahead and finish up example 3. All right. Take a look at example four. Simplify the given expression. So then the sixth root, well, zero times a is zero, which we can put that in our calculator. So then that's is zero.
All right, let's take a look at example five. Simplify the given expression. All right. Now, this one, you have to figure out a perfect root. Okay, so we need a perfect root that divides into 28. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 28 divided by 4, and that works. So 28 divided by 4 is 7. So I can rewrite this as the square root of 4 times 7x. Okay, now I need to find a perfect cube that goes into 56. Well, I need to go through, review the cube. So 2 cubed is 8. So let's try 56 divided by 8. That's 7. That works. So I can rewrite this as the cube root of 8 times 7. X. Okay, now I can rewrite that as the square root of 4 times the square root of 7x divided by the cube root of 8 times the cube root of 7x. Okay, so the square root of 4 is 2 times the square root of 7x divided by the cube root of 8 is 2 times the cube root of 7x. This is technically the second root. Okay, 2 divided by 2 becomes 1. And I can rewrite this as 7x to the 1 half power divided by 7x to the, that should be in parentheses, sorry, one third power, all right, so that can be written as 7x to the one half minus one third. Okay. So then to understand this, that's to the one half minus one third. But in order to subtract these, I have to have the same denominator. So I'm going to multiply this by three divided by 3, I'm going to multiply this by 2 divided by 2. So this equals 7x to the 3 6 minus 2 6. Well, 3 minus 2 is 1, so your final answer is 7x to the 1 6 power. All right, go ahead and finish up example 5. All right, let's take a look at example 6. Okay, well, 0 times a is 0 to the one-fourth power, so let's put that in our calculator. So parentheses zero, to the one divided by four is zero.
Okay, let's take a look at example seven. Simplify the given expression. All right, so first off, we need to calculate these numbers. Okay. So 10,000 to the 1 divided by 4 is 10, and 100 to the 1 divided by 2 is 10. So this equals 10y plus 10y which equals 20y. Let's take a look at example 8. Okay, now here, when you have this raised exponent, these exponents multiply, so that becomes 2t to the t divided by t times 2t to the 5t divided by t. Well, t divided by t is 1, so then this is 2t to the 1 power times 2t, that the t's be right in one, so that's 2t to the fifth power. So then this equals 2t to the 1 plus 5, which equals 2t to the sixth power. So then that's 2 to the sixth power times t to the sixth power. And 2 to the 6th power is 64. So that's 64 t to the 6th power. All right, go ahead and finish up example 8. All right, let's take a look at the next example. All right, example 9. Simplify the given expression. Okay, so first off, we multiply these. So that's 1 negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. 3 times 2 is 6. Okay. Then we multiply these, so that's, and we raise this to the 1 6th power, so that's 2 the 1 6th power, and then that's x to the 6 divided by 6. Well, let's go ahead and put this in our calculator. That's 10, so that's equal to 10. This divided becomes 1, so 10x. All right, go ahead and finish up example 9. All right, let's take a look at example 10. Simplify the given expression. Okay, so let's see. So then this becomes x to the sixth, y to the third. Now I'm going to rewrite this as y. Technically that's a two right there, so that's four divided by two equals x to the sixth, y to the third. Well that becomes y squared, which then that's x to the 6th, y cubed plus 2, so that's x to the 6th, y to the 5th.
All right, go ahead and finish up example 10. All right, let's take a look at example 11. Simplify the given expression. So, we first multiply these, so that's x to the 6th, y squared to the 6th divided by 2, divided by x to the 6th, y squared, oh, I'm sorry, yep, y squared, to the 6th divided by 2, well, that equals x to the 6th, y squared, to the 3rd power, divided by x to the 6th, y squared, to the 3rd power, which then that becomes x to the 6th, y squared, to the 3 minus 3, which equals x to the 6th, y squared, to the 0 power, and anything raised to zero power is one. All right, go ahead and finish up example 11. All right, example 12. So, here we multiply, so that becomes x to the 16 divided by 4, y to the 16 divided by 2, and z to the 16 divided by 4. Well, that equals x to the 4th power, y to the 8th power, and z to the 4th power. All right, go ahead and finish up example 12. All right, let's take a look at example 13. So, that becomes x to the 18 divided by 9 divided by, we can write that, remember that's a 2, so that's x to the 16 divided by 2, which equals x squared divided by x to the 8th, which equals x to the second power minus 8, which equals x to the negative 6, which can be rewritten as 1 divided by x to the 6th power. All right, go ahead and finish up example 13. All right, example 14. Okay, so technically that's a 2 right there, so this can be rewritten as parentheses y to the one fourth divided by two to the twenty fourth power. Technically, that can be 2 divided by 1. When you divide by fractions, you flip and multiply. So that equals y to the 1 fourth times 1 half to the 24th power, which equals y to the 1 eighth to the 24th power, 
then you multiply, so then that's y to the 24 divided by 8, which equals y to the third power. All right, go ahead and finish up example 14. All right, last example. Biologists use a formula to estimate the mass of a mammal's brain. For a mammal with a mass of m grains, the approximate mass b of the brain, also in grams, is given by this formula. Find the approximate mass of the brain of a mouse that has a mass. So we're saying m equals 64. So this is a really simple question. All we have to do is plug that number in. So b equals 1 divided by 8 times 64 to the 2 thirds power. Okay, so let's plug that into our calculator. So 1 divided by 8, parentheses, 64 to the 2 divided by 3, and the answer is 2. So B equals 2. So the brain of the mouse has approximately a mass of 2 grams. All right, go and finish up your examples and start working on your assignment, and have a wonderful Wildcat day.